My Breakfast Reading Program is a free web-based reading program developed by Dick Briggs. This video provides the background and concepts used in the program. Here to tell us about the program and its details is Dick Briggs. I was a special education teacher in the 1970s. I taught mentally handicapped and learning disabilities. I was also certified in the areas of physically handicapped, elementary education, and educational administration. In the late 1970s, I left teaching for the business world to become a computer programmer. In early 2000, I started hearing a lot about the national reading crisis, both from a national and local perspective. Based on this, I thought I could build synergy between my teaching skills and my computer skills. I started playing around with word patterns and my hobby became a passion. I looked at statistical patterns and the concept was born. Three main reasons why I'm providing the program for free. First, many teachers have to dip into their own pockets to provide materials for students. That's not fair, but it's reality. Secondly, many parents can't afford tutors and or reading programs. Thirdly, while serving as a U.S. Marine in Vietnam, a sniper hit the shoulder pad of my flak jacket and knocked me down. I never complain about being short, but I also realized someone up above was looking out for me. This is my payback. I want to use my skills and talents to help others. There are just too many abstract rules that kids or non-reading adults have to try to remember. Let's listen to a neuroscientist's perspective on reading. Now, when we look at a child learning to read, we certainly see the visual side of it. Most people, when they think about reading, think about the visual side of reading because it's so obvious. There's these, these squiggles on the page, and that's what you're going to have to learn to put together. That's the code, or at least that's what people have thought for years was the code. But it turns out that that code has to be decoded, as it were, in terms of the sounds that um, are made inside of words because those letters actually have to come to represent not the words, but the sounds inside of words. I tried to simplify the rules for quick phonetic analysis by using breakfast food analogies. Everyone can relate to pancakes. You cook pancakes one side at a time. I call words with one vowel pancake words. Statistically, approximately 44% of single syllable words can be classified as having one vowel. Once a word is identified as having only one vowel, 95% of the time the vowel will have the short vowel sound. Those are pretty good odds. There are only five short vowel sounds. A, E, I, A, A. Everyone can relate to waffles. You cook waffles two sides at a time. I call words with two vowels waffle words. Statistically, approximately 26% of single syllable words have two vowels. Once a word is identified as having two vowels, 67% of the time, the vowel will have the long vowel sound. Again, those are pretty good odds. There are only five long vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. At this point, I don't care if the vowels are together or separated by consonants. Just like you have square waffles and round waffles, keep it simple. Words with two vowels are waffles. I use orange juice to identify words where the vowel is controlled by the letter R. This makes up 7% of single syllable words. These are words like car, bird, fork, fire, fair, deer. I use fruit toppings to identify words that don't have the short, long, or R controlled vowel sounds. These are generally called diphthongs. Diphthongs make up 13% of single syllable words. These are words like saw, launch, bought, plow, cloud, new, blue, Toy, soil. Approximately 10% of single syllable words just don't fit the phonetic rule structure. These basically have to be memorized like the most common sight words. One of the most frequent questions I receive is, is the program based on scientific research? Yes, I use three primary sources for developing the model and materials. My first source is the Big Ideas website created by the University of Oregon. It focuses on phonemic awareness, alphabetic principle, accuracy and fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. My second source is Dr. Rolanda E. O'Connor's book, Teaching Word Recognition. My third source is Dr. Sally Shayowitz's book, Overcoming Dyslexia. My breakfast reading program is web-based, scientifically based, and free at www. 
MyBreakfastReadingProgram.com. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like pancakes.